a blessed day to each and everyone. Again, this is Sir April, and we're going to have a professional development for teachers. For we're going to talk about the theories and models of curriculum development. What is a curriculum? Curriculum is a design plan for learning that requires the purposeful and proactive organization, sequencing, and management of the interactions among teacher, students, and the content of knowledge we want to acquire. What is a curriculum model? A model is a format for curriculum design developed to meet unique needs, context, purpose. In order to address these goals, curriculum developers design, reconfigure, or rearrange one or more key curriculum components. What are different curriculum theories? Curriculum theories are used to shape and develop curriculum. Since there is such a broad field of curriculum studies, there are a variety of theories used to define the learning process of children. Number one, social meliorism theory. This type of curriculum is based on the individual student's intelligence and how to improve the intelligence using education. Situational analysis will going to have the statements of intent. For program building of content, teaching and learning, which will result to assessment, implementation, and evaluation will, that will correspond to situational analysis. Number two, Jan Dewey's theory uses four instincts to categorize a child's behavior. These instincts are expressive, constructive, artistic, and social. This is Jan Dewey inquiry-based learning and democratic education, wherein in the inquiry model, he'll go in to reflect on the processes that starts with planning, with identifying a topic area for inquiry, retrieving the locate and collect resources that select relevant information, processing for establishing a focus for inquiry, creating to organize information, sharing in communicating with the audience, and evaluating the product. Number three, social efficiency theory. In this educational model, each child is given an intelligence quotient or IQ test. Its goal is to educate children according to his or her proficiency. The scores from the test determine the course of education for that child. Developmentalism theory, children's characteristics rather than their IQ or instincts are the basis of the curriculum with this type of curriculum theory. Children are educated according to their emotional and behavioral qualities. Framework underlying curriculum models. We have the content, intro, teaching, products, assessment, teaching, learning, resources, groupings, extensions, notifications. Reasons and rationale for a curriculum model based on student differences. Why should we differentiate our curriculum? What kind of student differences should we address? How will we develop or revise curriculum to address these differences? What should we expect from different nations? The Tyler model on curriculum and instruction recommends that curriculum planners identify general objectives by gathering data from the learners outside the school and subject matter. Ralph Tyler created a book in 1949 which entitled Basic Principles of Curriculum and Instruction. The general objectives that successfully passed through the two screens become what are now popularly known as instructional objectives. Tyler model of curriculum development, setting objective, what educational purposes should the institution seek to attain, learning experiences and content, what educational experiences can be provided that are likely to attain this purpose, organizing learning experiences, how can these educational experiences be effectively organized? Evaluation, how can we determine whether these purposes are being attained? In the curriculum planning, society, 
corresponds to the resources that has the subject matter which focuses on objectives. Philosophy will going to add screens that will be resulting to instructional objectives. Sources includes the learners and the screens have the psychological attributes of the students. Selection of learning experiences will going to start once instructional objectives had been established and it will have an organization that will lead to evaluation. This will going to determine the curriculum design and the curriculum evaluation. The Taba model, she is Hilda Taba, wherein she published a book for curriculum development, theory, and practice that in 1962, he have a definite order in creating a curriculum. She proposed a grassroots approach wherein teachers who teach the curriculum should participate in developing it, which led to the model being called the grassroots approach. Teachers should have the major output, which is also called the administrative model. Taba's curriculum development model includes first evaluation and you're going to have the diagnosis. Once you diagnose, formulation will take place and selection will proceed. In. Once you selected, organization of content will occur together with the selection of learning activities and organization of learning activities. And this will be subjected for evaluation as well, wherein evaluation, formulation, and organization will come from teacher's output. The Sailor Alexander and Lewis model, wherein the curriculum planners begin by specifying the major educational goals and specific objectives they wish to be accomplished. For ex instance, there will be a basis or external variables for goals, objectives, and domains, which will promulgate curriculum designing and curriculum implementation for evaluation and feedback. The Olivia model, faculty can fashion a plan for the curriculum of an area and design ways in which it will be carried out through instruction. To develop a school-wide interdisciplinary programs that cut across areas of specialization such as career education, guidance, and class activities. One of the related researches includes curriculum coherence in the curriculum development paper by Anweiser at Core. It stated here that there is a technique called curriculum mapping according to Jacobs in 1997. This might be helpful in such an endeavor. It has been used successfully in the development of curricular scope and sequences in K-12 settings. But again, it is a concept that has relevance for higher education. This is the subjects and their corresponding units at Manila Science High School, where units has been displayed in the number of subjects and the core subjects as well, which you're going to see for their curriculum. Issues regarding education according to k12academics.com includes quality of education, budget for education, and affordability in education. In November 25, 2020, from deped.gov.ph, the teaching supply allowance will come from 3500 to 5000 next year. Annual medical exam will be included for the budget, and the and program plan of $25 billion will going to move to the program fund. Self-learning modules will going to increase its funding, and there will be a special provision for extended validity for funding for specific education programs. Additional MOOE for school operations as well. Lastly, let me leave you this quote that a good curriculum can change the face and the fate of a nation. Planning a curriculum is not easy. We have to consider a lot of things. We teachers, if you're going to adapt the TABA model, shall going to access all the resources so that we can be able to have and manage a good curriculum. That's all for today. Again, my name is Sher April, and these are my references. Do not forget to click like, hit the notification bell button, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye!